I'm Stuart with Read and Rekindled here for another book haul. If you haven't noticed, I have 16 books that I've acquired to the chagrin of my fiance. So I have to do an unhaul soon, but I'm really excited to share all these new books that I bought. All right, so the first two books I'm gonna go over is from my local thrift store. One is a gem that I found. The other one is one that I've heard a ton about. So probably a gem in hiding. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This was Reese Book Club, and I hate when they put this little emblem here, but that's okay. More than 4 million copies sold. I don't know a lot about it. I know there was a movie made after it, and I've heard so many good things from people that I've talked to. So I'm really excited to dig into this. I hear that it's about somebody gone missing or dying, a marsh girl in North Carolina coast, and kind of creepy, but also beautiful as well. And it says perfect for fans of Barbara Kingsolver on the flap here. As everybody knows, Demon Copperhead is my favorite book by Barbara Kingsolver. So if that is true, I'm really excited to dig into Where the Crawdad Sings. I'm going to be opening this one up hopefully in the next couple months. The next one is a gem because this man was a gem and I loved him very much. Anthony Bourdain, Medium Raw. This was 10 years after Kitchen Confidential. I heard he attacks a lot of people in this. So there's a lot of tea, a lot of oolong tea up in here. So I'm really excited to dig into the mind of Anthony Bourdain. I will be opening this one up very, very soon. So those were my thrift books. Not a ton this time, but I'm going to be going back on a weekly basis to dive in and see what other books I can find. Again, that medium raw one for $1. I saw that somewhere on a used bookstore and it was showing 150 bucks for first edition. That's what this one is. So very excited about this pickup. I'll never sell it though. I'll keep this. And then where the crowd at sing. I've heard nothing but good things. Again, a dollar pickup for a hard book cover. You can't beat that. So the next group of books that I have here, is from a secondhand store that is up the road for me, has a lot of great books, and it's an exchange store. So if you have some books that you want to unhaul there, they give you credit towards your next purchase, and then you can utilize it to buy more and more books. And that is what I've done. So I'm going to be taking more books up there next week sometime to get some clutter out of the house so that I can get some more credit and buy some more books. The first three comes as a group set, which is the second, third, and fourth books of the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I'm in the middle of the first Dark Tower series book the gunslinger and like everybody said it's very weird i'm halfway through but it is starting to pick up and starting to make some sense it's a quick read so i'm excited to get through these books i'm probably going to start on the second one soon after the dark tower one gunslinger is over i'm going into these things blind i don't know where it goes and where it leads i don't even want to look on the inside cover to see because i'm in the moment i'm loving the world that it's building kind of feels like the road almost maybe not necessarily the writing styles but the way that they've built out these worlds i think it's kind of apropos to the road very excited to jump into this. Stephen King is a delight for me to read. Very excited to dive into more Stephen King books. The next book that I got, and it was an accident. I was trying to pick up another book. I forget what it is about or what it is called, but this one is Christine Hanna's The Nightingale. This book takes place in France in 1939, right before the Nazis invade France. It follows a woman who does not believe that this is going to happen. That is pretty much all I know about this book, but I am really excited. Anything that's World War II base and takes place in Europe. I'm usually for. I love historical fiction books. I've heard nothing but amazing things. Again, I was trying to buy something else, but then I looked this one up after I bought it and there were some rave reviews on it. So I'm really excited to dig into this. The next one was just kind of a vibes purchase. I'm trying to find some really good poetry. So I just picked this one off the shelf. I like the cover because it's so basic. It's called The Outer National by Peter Gizzi. I hope I'm saying that last name correct. It's about spirituality. It's about outrage. There's a lot of deep meaning within these poems. I have yet to tear this one open, but when I need some poetry in my life, I'm going to be turning to this one because it seems just so cool. And I, again, I like the basic cover to it. I don't know why. The next book is by Barbara Kingsolver, writer of Demon Copperhead. I saw this one. I like the cover. It might be corny to most of you, but I really liked it. It's called Animal Dreams. It's about Native Americans. It's about love. It's about history. It's about flashbacks and dreams it's about a young woman who's coming back to her town to take care of her ailing father. And it's something that seems so up my alley. I really love the way Barbara Kingsolver writes and her character development. So I am going to be digging into this one very soon. I'm very excited. I've heard mixed reviews on this one, but I don't care. I love the way that she writes. Hopefully it translates into this book. So that is Animal Dream by Barbara Kingsolver. The next one is because I wanted to feel intelligent and I'm not very intelligent. I didn't read the entire cover, but it's good to learn and I'm going to continue to learn because I bought 
Shakespeare the Tragedies. I thought it was all the tragedies, but it's essays, a collection of critical essays. I thought the cover was really cool. That's kind of what drew me to it. But I'm going to be digging into this when I want to be learning something. I don't know how long it's going to be or if I'll ever read it. If I ever want to learn more about Shakespeare and the critical essays by different critics, I will dive into this one. But I just thought the cover was kind of creepy and cool. This one I heard is very sad. So when I want to feel sad, I will start digging into this book. It is called The Storied Life of A.J. Vickery. I know this is a movie as well, so I might watch it afterwards, but this is by Gabriel Zevin, who wrote one of my favorite books, Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. And this is about a bookstore owner who lives by himself. His store's not doing well, and it goes through that time and goes through this life. But again, I heard this is a very sad book, so this is something I'll be digging into when I have a feeling of being okay so that I can dig into something that is a little bit more sad. But I am very excited because Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow is one of my favorite books ever, and I heard that this is just as good. And it's a very quick read so maybe one rainy day i'll open this up and finish this in one day so last but not least we have our local bookstore which is the fountain bookstore downtown richmond virginia it is a quaint little bookstore but the people there are so nice they have a lot of good opinions and direct you to where you want to go i got in a great conversation with them off the books that i picked up they told me they have a lot of really good irish sad type of books kind of like Shuggy bane by douglas stewart so i'm going to go back there talk to the people up front and try to get some irish literature again because that is such a good book the first book i picked up is james a novel by percival Everett, and this is a retelling of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, told by, by Jim, the enslaved black man in that book, but from his perspective. So I haven't read The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn in quite some time, but I have heard that it does not translate to now times. I may read it before I read this one, but I've heard that this is such an amazing telling, has a lot of heart. I have so many books that I want to read. That is the problem with this thing is that I want to read a million books all at once and I don't have the bandwidth to do so. So I usually pick like two to three. This may come into the rotation sooner rather than later though. I've been really excited about this one. The next one I've heard a ton about on BookTube and TikTok and I know I'm behind the times because I'm just starting to read again, but that is The House on the Cerulean Sea, which is a man, Linus Baker, who works in the Department of Change for Magical Youth. He's a 40 year old man who lives in a tiny house and he's summoned by the extremely upper man management to travel to an orphanage that has six dangerous magical children to see if in fact that they could bring the end of time. I think this is fun and magical. I love diving into a world like this that is not like our own when I've read some very heavy books. So I'm so excited and that cover is amazing. That's a beautiful cover. So I'm really, really excited. Again, I don't know which one I'm going to pick from. I don't know how to pick. Maybe down in the comments, you guys can tell me which ones I should open up. But that's the house in the Cerulean Sea, and it is going to be so good. I'm so excited. All right, we got three more books. So if you hold in there, this next one is one that I have seen on shelves, and it really catches my attention, especially the book cover, because you see the pain in the person's face. This is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, and I hope I'm saying that name right. This follows four college classmates. This is about friendship, love, heartbreak. I heard that this is a devastating book. I'm so excited to crack this one open and dive into it. This might be the first one that I actually crack open because I've been thinking about it. The second to last book that I purchased is by Haruki Morikami. It is novelist as a vocation. His memoir, I would say, diving into how he writes. I think it's really inspirational to dive into anything of when people talk about their expertise in life and when writers write about how they write, it's even more powerful because they're so good at it. And he has written Norwegian Wood, one Q84 and so many more books that I've heard nothing but good things. I have read Norwegian Wood and I thought it was great. So I'm excited to dive into the mind of Haruki Murakami. I know he has an interesting style of how he writes and how he treats himself and his body. So I'm so excited to dig into this one as well. This is something that I've actually cracked open the first 20 pages and I really liked where it was going. So I will continue to read it. And then last but not least, one that I've seen everywhere and somebody that is actually from Virginia. He is from Newport News, Virginia 757, which is the area code that I'm from as well so I have a lot of love and appreciation for this and for this man is All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. At the bookstore this was their 2023 book of the year and I was asking for a thriller style book because my son is getting into more young child thrillers and I wanted to connect with him somehow. This one's definitely for adults, pretty gruesome, a little bit of horror, a little bit of crime thriller. I've heard that S.A. Cosby is the next big thing and it's already happening. There's so much praise for him. I'm really excited. I actually 
actually opened it last night and got to chapter four already. I didn't want to turn the lights off last night after I started reading this book because at the start of the book, you just imagine it like it's a movie. So that's it. That's all the books that I have. 16 books. So many to choose from. I don't know where to start. I don't know if to go to Stephen King, keep reading the S.A. Cosby book, jump into a little life. There's just so many good ones that I picked up. There's so much great literature. If you have any comments on which books that I should pick up out of this set, let me know. I'll definitely crack those open. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me and shouting out. The community is so great here at BookTube. The shout outs that I get from other channels, comments that I get, the likes, the subs. You guys are all amazing people. I appreciate your love for literature that is driving home my love for literature more and more every single day. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you for rekindling my flame. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.